Yay, we're live with no problems. <laughs> hey, everybody. We did it. We are talking about the final girls today. Another amazing movie. I loved it. Every character is a winner. <laughs> Except for um Amanda Cartwright. I, like, instantly disliked her. <laughs> but then she died, yeah. so it worked out. Yeah, were you expecting her to die? <laughs> um... As soon as I saw her driving and, like, singing instead of watching the road, like, she kept turning to, like, make eyes at her daughter and, like, do a little dance routine. Like, oh, this is prime car accident material. And then it yeah. happened. But she stressed me out. Like, her throwing the bills out the window, I was like, dude, <laughs> that is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it shouldn't be your daughter who's like, hey, how are we going to pay the electricity bill? It's like, oh my god, yeah. it's our song. I was like, oh, girl, pay your bills. Of course, I loved Nina's character. Yeah. I was like, I don't see why we're supposed to hate her. She was like, oh, like... Like when she was like, oh, even my safety schools. Even my safety schools, Stanford, Cornell, I'm not going to just half-ass them. I was dying. Like, those are your <laughs> safety schools. <laughs> it's like, she sounds amazing. I I do have to say, though, I I do not think that Chris is hot enough for uh, two guys or two chicks I to be know. fighting over. One of them being Nina, like, is the hottest, like. <laughs> actress i know when i saw that she was like competing for his attention i was like are you kidding me this guy <laughs> he like does not have a face like yeah. he is so bland looking it like freaks me out a little bit max is a little too boring for me i think like gertie should have been like the main character. i totally agree <laughs> i i couldn't tell you one thing about her honestly Except that her mom died. What What is going on with Max? Like, she doesn't do anything except, like, not have a mom. Yeah, and be, like, sad girl. Yeah. She can't even commit to, like, her romantic interest. She was like, he's too tall. I was like, no girl has ever said that. I guess it is kind of a good nod to, like, the original Friday the 13th, where the final girl is also, like, pretty boring oh that is a really Compared good point to, like vegan girl <laughs> that's a good Monopoly point girl i can't remember what nickname we gave her. i think we did give her we went between vegan girl and monopoly girl and i think at one point <laughs> we went with vegan monopoly girl paula seemed like she was almost too cool to be a final girl <laughs> Did I miss the kumbaya circle? You know, I had the same thought when I saw Paula. Because she was like, <laughs> she's like the person, she was like you or me if we walked into that camp. <laughs> like everyone else is singing this weird like Jesus song. And then she shows up with her like cigarettes and her leather jacket. And, and she's like, alcohol she yeah. stole from her uncle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she's like, ew, I have to be here all summer. I'm like, there's never been someone that normal in these movies who's like <laughs> acknowledging how shitty summer camp is so yeah i was i wasn't expecting her to die either i was like oh cool we get to like hang out with this badass <laughs> awesome person and then she just like exploded <laughs> which uh i guess fun fact the actress that plays her uh-huh she uh She's married to the guy that played Kurt. <laughs> it's the one oh, the that, like, jock? Yeah, the like super horny one. <laughs> that is so weird that they're married. I do really like his part when uh, he's talking to Chris and <laughs> he asks him if he's gay and then he's like, my dads are gay, so shut oh, up. Yeah. He's like, Gay guys can't have kids. They're too busy going to clubs. My dad's are gay, so shut the hell up. Yeah, right. Gay guys can't have kids. They're too busy going to discos and having sex with each other. It's actually a pretty cool lifestyle. That does check out as something he would admire. <laughs> I thought, like, when Nina stood up and was like, I'll be the final girl, I was like, 
yes, she is clearly the most capable. And then she couldn't do it because I guess she's not a virgin. Yeah. But I Which... thought she made the most sense. Yeah. Which, like, like I said when we were talking about Final Girls, when we were talking about Friday the 13th, that's not really... Because, you know, like, Ginny wasn't a virgin. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> like, so many other characters I don't think were virgins. And they, like, smoked weed. Yeah. <laughs> they drank. And all that stuff so that's not necessarily a rule but i think that's kind of like the cliched image that people have so i think that's why it was a rule in here i was irritated that everyone else was kind of trying to figure things out and like how do we get out of here what are we doing here and then max is just like oh my god mom like you're my mom and it's like that's not your mom at all like that's not her and like she was like oh you can come back with me i'm like dude I think you guys are kind of, like, the same age right now. Like, are you thinking that she'll just come back and be your mom? Because can you imagine how pissed we would be if someone saved our lives and then they were like, okay, yeah. be my mom now. I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> and can I also just say, like, Max is kind of stupid and, like, how many fucking times does somebody have to sacrifice themselves? <laughs> oh, my God. To save her. It's, it's okay. Just go. Like everyone was every time something happened, she was just like open mouth, like, huh? And I'm like, dude, you cannot keep doing this. Like and that's why I was like, why are we so confident with her being the final girl? Like it should be Tina, if anything. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I loved Tina. She's like the character you want in one of these movies. I know. Like, she was sexy, but also she was just actually really funny. Like, when they first meet her, she's like, Hey! Do you guys know the way to Camp Lupin? And they're just staring at her, and she's like, Okay? Yeah. I'm like, best <laughs> reaction. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then when um it was um, Max talking to her mom, and her mom's like, and she's trying to tell her mom not to have sex, which is just like the weirdest conversation ever. <laughs> And then she's like, there's nothing to be scared of. Like, Tina's done it twice today, and she's great. And then you see Tina just, like, grinding on <laughs> Yogurt Face. I can't remember his name. <laughs> um, I did like the killer, Billy Murphy. <laughs> I totally was like, this is even worse than the counselors just, like, ignoring him to have sex. Like, the counselors were actively, like, bullying him and setting him on fire. <laughs> so I was like, okay... I get it. I get it, Billy. I fucking love, like, Nina and Gertie's, like, back and forth. Yes. <laughs> Where'd uh, Terry go? Terry? Tyson? Tyson. Oh, yeah. He just got, like, super sick super fast. Mm. Oh, no. Not the super sick super fast. <laughs> they both had so much personality, which just made Max's, like, lack of personality stand out so much <laughs> i know yeah when vicky was like crying because she thought she was gonna die and she's like apologizing and she was like Gert and like her apology to gertie is like so meaningful and it's like did anything even happen with max and then, like her and gertie are having such a moment gertie I'm sorry for that time in junior high when I told everyone to start calling you Pachanka Dunk and then I covered your locker in bacon. If it makes you feel better, last summer I'm the one who spread the rumor that said you had a weird disease where you were always on your period. Wow, that's evil. Thank you. She's like, like impressed. That's so, like, that's so great. But then Max is just like sat there like, I just couldn't even remember what her and Max had a falling out over because Max is so boring. They, like, she really liked Max because they were, like, you know, friend, like, best friends or whatever before Max and Gertie. And then Max's mom died and she just was like, I don't want to hang out with him anymore. <laughs> and she was like, I don't, I don't know why you just decided you don't like me. <laughs> so Max ghosted Vicky. Yeah. So Max is the problem. So many of the characters that are in the, like, movie that they're stuck in. Yeah. Are just, like, other than Paula, 
and to a lesser extent Kurt. Like other than those two, most of the other characters are so boring. <laughs> Tina's best moment was her striptease. Like that was pretty <laughs> incredible. The one thing, and this is just me personally because I have a personal issue with it. Uh -huh. I just wish there was a different song that she did her striptease to because um, I have some PTSD <gasps> with Cherry Pie. Why? Tell me the story. There was one year when they wanted people to work like overnight, like cleaning. Oh gosh. Like, you know, like folding, like the people in the clothes area would like fold the clothes and pick stuff off the floor because the back to school time is like the worst fucking time. Oh my god. And they're like, you know, if you work the overnight shift, like, they're not open during that time. So I was, like, the first fucking one to be like, yep. Yes. Up. Like, Use I don't up my hours people. there. Yeah. And then I talked to my two, like, best friends that, like, I worked with. Yeah, you have to work from, like, 10 o'clock at night until, like, 7 in the morning. Uh -huh. but who no customers. Up? Yeah. <laughs> but one fucking day uh -oh. they were gonna have like a freshman night where you could get they could come and get stuff for their dorms or their apartments or whatever and they got the fucking radio djs from in town to come and like do a show there no and <laughs> we're working my friend and i were working back in the baby area and the fucking oh, djs God are like in the electronics or set up in electronics like right next to there and these guys are like in their fucking 50s <laughs> <laughs> they're sitting there like hitting on these fucking like 18 year old Ew. kids like singing cherry pie no. to them and my friend and I were so like grossed out Ugh. I cannot think of anything more <laughs> unappealing when you're 18 than a 50 year old dj i mean the song is is like great but yeah i just i have a hard time listening to it now without picturing it's that. okay i understand i also uh, thought it must have been awkward for max when like her final like goodbye to her sort of mom is her mom doing a striptease? I don't think Max ever fully absorbed the fact that that is not her mom because she was consistently like, you have a daughter. Like, I'm your, like, it's like, this is not her. This is like a character <laughs> she portrayed. Like, it's not her just yeah. because she says some of the same things. Like, when she was like, you must think I'm a total zero. It's like, that's less about it being your mom and more about the people who wrote this movie barely writing the movie. <laughs> I have to draw this man because he's in this picture. He is so bored. I don't even... Just draw a thing of yogurt. <laughs> Do you think he looks more like um, like an unlabeled container of yogurt or like a bottle of milk? Hmm. Here's... Here's the guy. I'm gonna say milk. I agree. I actually like yogurt. Oh. Same. And yogurt <laughs> has flavors. Yeah, what did he even do? Like, he survived. I thought that was yeah. shocking. Like, why is yeah. he still alive? He's so worthless. Like, Nina explodes and he's fine. Unbelievable. Yeah. And that's one of my things I was saying about Max, because... You know, Nina sacrifices herself mm -hmm. to save Max. And then fucking Nancy, who's not as cool as Nina, but she's still probably cooler than Max. Yeah, way. Sacrifices herself to fucking save Max. Mm -hmm. And I might be forgetting some people. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, how many fucking people have to fucking sacrifice themselves for this stupid ass chick? See, and that's like that's why I have such a hard time like with these movies when you're supposed to be rooting for someone it's like they are just constantly watching other people do the work and they never learn from it until it's like yeah. there's one person left and they're like oh shit if this person <laughs> dies I might have to actually really try and that's when they start doing <laughs> shit yeah and then she's telling nancy she's like well you know i'm already dying so you could just go out and live and it's like 
Are you're you gonna sacrifice yourself for a fucking movie <laughs> for a fictional character and also beyond her being a fictional character it's her mom like i am not dying for someone older than me like that's so yep. stupid i'm drawing max right now so i'm thinking about like max scenes even though there aren't that many but at the end she has the machete and she's fighting billy murphy and she's doing like they gave her this like epic fight scene and I'm like, yeah. this would be so much cooler if I thought that Max was cool. Yeah. Which but... I will say the lady that plays Max, she's in um the Conjuring Universe like nun movie. Oh. And she's not much better, but she is better. <laughs> Because cause she is still kind of boring because she's a nun. <laughs> yeah, nuns, I mean, they're, like, boring. That's their whole job. <laughs> and she's going to be, I think she's, like, the main character in that new one that's coming out, too. Oh, there's another one? Yeah, there's uh, the nun, too, which comes out, I think, in September. Jeez. Which, um... I, I'm going to say I'm not like super excited to see but I'm still probably gonna end up seeing it because my brother has already said he wants us to go see it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because he actually liked her character in that movie. So. Which, and Which she was a nun? Is, yeah well she in that movie she's like she's a nun she hasn't taken her vows yet but she's like a nun in training oh. that's kind of questioning whether she wants to be a nun. Oh, like in The Sound of Music. Yeah, and she's okay. like, she gets sent to, like, this place to investigate, like, a murder of a different nun. Interesting. And, and then, like, at the end, she's like, oh, well, I'm gonna take my vows because Satan's obviously here because it's a Conjuring movie. <laughs> that's, that's the one thing I can't get into with the Conjuring movies is how they're so, like, Jesus-y. I did also, like, what was the guy's name? Was it, like, Duncan? Or... Yeah. I thought he was ridiculous, like, asking this girl. To... <laughs> and then he was like, can I sign you up for the Q&A after? Like, are you serious? Like, she has to watch her mom, like, be an idiot on in this movie. And then you want her to do a Q&A, like. In a movie that her mom, like, told her right before she died, like, she regretted being. <laughs> and then when they were in the movie, there was, like, he had no sense of urgency at all. He's just, like, super excited. And, like, I don't. <laughs> Even, like, if it was one of my favorite movies, I think I'd still be like, I don't want to be here. I want to go home. Yeah. If I were in one of my favorite movies, like, Halloween, I'd be like, I I don't want to be killed by Michael. Mm -mm. <laughs> Though, like, when he's talking to Kurt, and then, I don't remember what he says, but Kurt's like, well, I thought you were cool when you were laughing at my jokes, but now I just think you're kind of weird. Yeah. Dude, you, why do you want Kurt to think you're cool? I mean, I will give, like, Kurt does have, like, some good one-liners. Yeah, he does. I'll finish this drawing. I got distracted, but it's fine. We got the gallon of milk in there. <laughs> yep. All right, bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Cha-Cha.